Alright, so um, I'm not really sure what to call this trick. It's kind of uh, like cross arm behind the back. I don't, <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> um, it looks like this. It's a really easy move. Um, basically, you just gotta know how to put your arms, and there's, you know, a couple different ways to do it, um, based on like either a vertical plane or a um, horizontal plane. So, um, what you need to do is you just put one arm over the other like this, and get your arms situated. And this one is kind of resting here on the hoop. So you really want to have them crossed and then just over top grab it just like this. And whatever arm you have, it doesn't matter, you can do it either way, but it's easier. Whatever arm you have underneath is the side you're going to go to first. So you're going to push up and your arms don't change. Your hand will end up on the inside of the hoop, your grip, but your arms are not going to change, they're always going to stay on this, like, holding the hoop in the same place. So, up to the side, it's going to come down, you want to make sure that it stays touching your back, so that it will stay on the flat plane. So, you end up like this, and then it's just going to come down like this. So, my arms didn't move. From these place on the hoop, you see it's still here. And you just go like this, so it comes up like this, like this. This arm folds, this one comes out, down, and back down. And so you can keep doing this however you can go the other way, but that's a little bit more, doesn't feel as right. If you really want to do that, then I would say switch your arms and just go this way. But really it's just getting those, your arms crossed and then playing with what you can do. So the other way of doing this would be to hold the hoop horizontal. Your arms are still crossed, but hoops like this. And then just practice doing like this. So you get the feel for it, just like doing this. So this way, we'll come over. This arm is making it flip over you. And then this arm is flipping it back over. It feels kind of weird, but you will get used to it. So just, you just want to make sure that the hoop is pretty close to your body. It's not going to be touching it constantly, but on the sides it will. Um, just like with this one, you want to touch your back. Um, so that's it. And. Hopefully this is a new move you can incorporate into all kinds of dancing and um, other like hand hooping movements. So good luck.